Hi folks, welcome back. What we're going to be working on now is I just want to show you what I did a couple of things offline and I want to be able to show this to you. If you look at this, I cut out the chin, okay? Just like what we did here, alright? Now you can go up a little further if you want uh, to make it a little bit more of a, of a point, uh, a little more of a U-shape at the end there. But, um, what you want to do is cut your cut your um, cut, do your stop cut all the way around okay and then after that what you want to do is you want to take it and and undercut it and then when you're done cutting it straight down and I'll, this is something I'm going to show you straight down see how it curves inward uh, it goes inward a little bit what you want to do is just on your last cut just undercut that a little bit and then go back and sweep it up again from the bottom. So what you're going to do is going to go under here at an angle just like so alright all the way around and then go back and undercut it alright so it looks like more of a chin alright so after that we're going to go back to the nose here for a second let's see if I can get this a little bit better focused there we are uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to cut round off this nose a little bit just go down all right, and we're just going to blend that in. I'm going to just take this out a little bit. Uh, let's see, okay. And what we're going to do here is we're just, I see that I have a cut line there, so I, I really need to get rid of that. So I'm going to dig this down a little bit deeper. All right, from when I put that cut across the nose there. Hang on just a second. I gotta get rid of this. There we go. That's a little better. Alright, so what we're doing is we're just taking our nose and, and rounding it up a little bit. Now right here where the nose meets, okay, where the nose and the um, uh, the cheek meet, what you want to do is a little triangle. It's amazing what if you put a little bit of a V cut or a little triangular cut how much depth that gives your piece. Here, let me show you. See? See that? See what we just did there? It just looks um, a little bit better. And um, if I can get that focus there. See how we got that little cut in there? Right, right in there. See? That works out pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to do also the, we're going to do the other side. Just a little triangular cut. Once on the side of the nose, once on top of the mustache, and one straight down from the cheek. All right. There you go. And I'm just going to cut that up just a little bit more. All right. See how we have that looks a little deeper for the for the cheek. And what we're going to do here too, we're going to go back and recut this portion of it because that's really not deep enough. So, folks, you can do it in, in you know little little pieces at a time. You don't have to go crazy with it right away. When it does, if it doesn't look deep, just go back like I'm doing now and just make another pass at it. You know, do one side, come back, do the other side. All right. It's pretty simple, you know, concept. Now this is all different colors. I didn't realize that was in the wood. I would have preferred it to be all clear, but it's not, and that's okay. That's the joy of working with wood. You never know exactly how it's going to pan out for you, okay? I'm just going to make a little deep cut there right next to the nose to give it some depth as well. Just a little, a little V cut. All right, that looks good. I'm fairly happy with that. So what we end up doing, we did the eyes, and really just to put the the little, take our pencil and go right in the middle, and push, and push. Okay, there's our eye. That eye is a little crazy over there. Let's see. Okay, there you go. All right. So that's that's our eyes there. 
Let me cut a little bit of that off there. At the, all right, good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the um, the coat or the um, suspenders and the jacket in. So what we need to do is determine where that little V is going to be right here, right underneath. All right, and kind of find a center line there if you want to. Let me back this up just a tad. All right, and what you're going to do is from that center line, all right, I'll try to get it uh, right underneath the chin there. You're going to do one little V, a little V cut. Okay, see that little V cut right underneath there? All right, and now we're going to do it like a shirt. This beard should have been down a little bit further, but that's okay. We'll just have it fade out. You don't have to have it right underneath. It would be nice if you did, but I'm, I do it on that side. And there's nothing I can do to fix that at this point. So you can have that going out a little further. All right. So what you want to do is take your knife. And we're going to put a little stop cut right there. Okay. Right there. And try to match up your corners as much as you can. Well, what I mean by your corners is see if you can get them fairly deep right there where I'm sticking it in where they meet all right you can do this shirt any way you like I just happen to do it this way um, I think it looks okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your knife you're just gonna slowly slice a piece of it out there okay because it's kind of A little bit right there. All right, see what we're doing? Okay. And we're going to come over here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to slice this portion out. Again, we're going to do a couple of V cuts here. Nice and deep. Be careful pushing this in, folks. You know, this wood's a little tough. You're going to put more pressure on it, which is okay. Just want to be careful. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just undercut that. And I'm going to undercut this right there. And in fact, this is going to be a little deeper yet. I'm just giving you the outline here where to go. I'm sorry. I'll be right back, folks.